Hi, my name is Brett Wheeler. I work for Dobek Performance and today we'll be going over the install on the 2015 Razor 1000. First things first, you want to make sure that your vehicle is nice and cold to work on. The first step for the installation process of the AFR Plus on our 2015 Razor 1000 will be to have an oxygen sensor bung welded into the exhaust pipe. We recommend putting this directly on the band and having it be 10 degrees off of vertical. The next part of the install will be to install the O2 sensor into the exhaust bung on the exhaust pipe that you had welded on by a welder. Next you have to route the wiring up towards the controller package, zip tying it. The next step of the install will be determining a location for the AFR gauge to mount on the vehicle. We suggest on the left hand side because there is nothing behind here that can come in contact with the gauge. No wiring or bracketry in either of these locations. Gauge extension cables can be purchased if needed for other applications. To install this into the dash, you will be using the supplied bracketry, which actually goes on behind the plastic after you have the studs on and is secured with the brass nuts. Next, you will need to remove the rear engine hatch cover from the bed. along with the seat and the center access cover. We will now want to find a suitable location to mount the lower wideband unit. We recommend mounting this unit directly behind the front driver's seat and notching a small hole in the panel allowing it to run through to the back of the motor. If this is not a suitable location, we would suggest moving it to the outside. And mounting it directly on the back of the firewall. The next part of the install will be installing the ground wire and power wire from the unit. We recommend putting it through the panel underneath the center console and coming out at the battery itself. It is imperative that the ground wire is the first one to be installed. The next part of the process will be installing the oxygen sensor bypass. You will need to locate the stock oxygen sensor connection on the back of the vehicle. Unplug this connection and we suggest zip tying it out of the way so that it does not rest on the exhaust pipe itself. You will now plug in our O2 bypass into the stock wiring harness connection and make sure it is secured and zip tied out of the way also. Next we will be routing our gauge extension cable from the controller itself up the left, hand, left side rocker panel keeping it free of water and debris. Next, we will want to route our O2 sensor connection to the rear of the vehicle, bringing it up to our wideband O2, making a secure connection and clipping the gray locking tab. We have now finalized the installation of our AFR Plus on our Razor 1000 XP 2015 model. As you can see, we have installed the gauge directly into the dash. This is a great placement for it and works very well. We are now ready to ride.